Remember that movie in the 90s, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves? There is this Moorish character, Azim, who is always coming up with some new scientific innovation or creating some brilliant gadget, while all the dense European Christians just watch in amazement. This is a reflection of a totally ahistorical but popular idea that European Christians during the Crusades were less advanced in their culture, civilization, hygiene, and technological achievements than the Muslims. The truth is that during this period, the European Christian world and the Islamic world existed at an essentially equal level of civilizational development. In fact, during the Crusades, both sides learned from one another because the Muslims had the edge in some areas, while European Christians had the edge in others. One area in which the Christian West was much more advanced was in nautical engineering and shipbuilding. The West at this time had ships capable of crossing the North Atlantic and traveling from Europe to the Levant. No Arab ships had this range and versatility. Norse longships were brilliantly engineered vessels that actually rode on the waves. Historian Malcolm Barber notes that by the 12th century, Western Europe had undergone an agricultural revolution so that Western farming techniques were more advanced than the farming still practiced in the Middle East. The West employed the three-field system of cultivation that allowed for two crops to be grown on the field each year. Europe also developed the plow harness for horses that enabled the use of draft horses for plowing, a significant improvement over the human oxen power still used in the Muslim East. In addition, Western Europeans developed the horseshoe, which greatly improved equine traction, making horses into more effective draft animals and mounts for knights. In his book God's Battalions, Rodney Stark describes how the medieval Christian West also produced the swivel axle and brakes for wheels, which, when combined, enabled Europeans of the 12th century to use wagons for transport, while the Arabs and Turks were still dependent on pack animals. The Crusaders brought these innovations with them to the lands they conquered in Syria and Palestine, where agriculture was greatly improved because of them. Ibn Jubayr, a Muslim chronicler who traveled to the Crusader Kingdom in 1183, wrote that the Muslim farmers living under Crusader rule appeared to be more prosperous and content than the Muslims living under Turkish or Arab governments. Contact with Western military tactics and equipment had an influence on the Mohammedan warriors of Syria and Palestine. H.A.R. Gibb points out that various features of Western armor, such as visors and bomb braces, were adopted by the Muslims. The light, short lances of the Mohammedans at first put them at a disadvantage in combat with the Crusaders. To overcome this, the Muslims began binding two lance shafts together, but eventually they simply adopted the heavy Frankish lance. Gibb also points out that prior to the arrival of the Crusaders, fortifications and siege operations were fairly simple in Syria. The Crusaders introduced more elaborate castle building technology, which allowed them to hold territory effectively despite their numerical disadvantage to the Mohammedans. The notion, too, that hygiene was poor in the West is also inaccurate. Indeed, bathing and personal hygiene were just as important to Western Christians as they were to the Muslims and the Byzantines. For example, there were at least 32 bathhouses in Paris. The 12th century author Alexander Neckham says that while living in Paris, he would be awakened in the morning by people in the streets shouting, the baths are hot. In Southwark, the town on the opposite side of the Thames River from London, there were at least 18 hot public baths. Smaller towns also had bathhouses, usually associated with the local bakery, as the heat from the ovens was redirected to heat the baths. To learn more about hygiene and bathing in the medieval Latin West, see the link in the info box of this video to an article on medievalist.net. The High Middle Ages was a period of rapid development and achievement for the Latin European West. The idea that the Latin West was somehow more backward and barbaric than the Byzantine and Islamic East during this era is simply unfounded. From the magnificent architecture of the Gothic Cathedral, to the innovations of Western shipbuilding and navigation, to the impressive strides made in Latin military technology, it's clear that the European Christian West was a civilization in ascent. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel.
To support Real Crusades history, click on the link to our Patreon in the box below this video. Also, you will find a link to my novel, Why Does the Heathen Rage? A tale of the Crusades set during the reign of King Baldwin II of Jerusalem. Check out Scott Amos's novel, To Shine with Honor, A Story of the First Crusade. Also, check out Helena Schroeder's biographical novel of Balian of Ibelin, Envoy of Jerusalem. Please click on the link below to like our Facebook page as well. You can also join the Real Crusades History Discussion Group on Facebook. Thank you.